What's going on, Pleakers? I'm Fat Ninja, and welcome to Fat Ninja's Corner. I'm going to come to you once a week, and we're going to talk about what has gone on in the past week of sports. Um, this is the first episode, so kind of bear with me. Still kind of work out some kinks, maybe take some ideas from you guys. If you guys have some ideas on how you think I should... Um, do this uh you know show uh, i sure would appreciate any kind of feedback that you might want to throw at me or throw my way uh so without further ado let's get things started let's kick it off uh some of the biggest news coming out of ufc last week conor mcgregor losing his mind um i guess the ufc had a press conference they were promoting the ufc that was uh, going to happen this past weekend uh i guess it came out that they were going to strip conor mcgregor of his uh, ufc title because he had not fought in quite some time and he shows up out of the blue i don't think he was expected to show up and he uh, somehow finds a way to to get behind all the basically behind the scenes he grabs a dolly, a two-wheeler, and throws it through a bus window that has the fighters on it. Um, supposedly, some of the fighters got glass in their eyes. They were cut up by it. So I, I know they had to cancel at least three of the fights. I'm not a huge UFC fan. I don't really follow all that much. Uh, so, you know, once again, bear with me here. But I, I just think it's staged. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is something that is that is staged? Was it staged? Um, I, I did see video footage of him coming out of what they did say was the uh, New York Police Department. He was being escorted out by two men in suits. It seemed a little weird that, that they were in suits and they were not in uniform. Um, but, but once again, I, I, I just... I, it's a crazy story, one way or the other. If it's real or not, I don't know. I guess only time will tell, but it sure did seem like a publicity stunt to me. I mean, everyone was talking about the UFC. Dana White was on, you know, all the morning shows, all the the do jingle floppies and the flim flams and the and the and all of that stuff. I mean, it, it was a, it was a crazy story. It took the took the sports world by by just swept the nation. Everyone was talking about UFC and Conor McGregor being arrested. Supposedly, there might have been an arrest warrant issued for him. Then I heard that there wasn't any. So it just seems fake. What is your opinion? Please chime in below. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. It's my at my spin on sports. Uh, that is my Twitter handle. Feel free. Add me. We can have chit chats all day long. Um, yeah, definitely, absolutely. So yeah, and that, that I mean that just seems crazy to me. Once again, I, I think it was staged. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. We now transition into the my first segment. I'm going to try to do this segment once a week. It's called my Dumb Dumb of the Week Award. Sponsored by Dumb Dumb Suckers. You remember those suckers? You, I don't know, growing up, you used to go to the bank. Your parents would go to the bank. You'd go through the drive through and they'd see that there was a child in the back seat or the front seat, and they'd send out a couple Dumb Dumb Suckers. Shout out to Dumb Dumb Suckers for sponsoring this segment. The Dumb Dumb of the Week Award goes to Trevor Davis, a wide receiver for the uh, Green Bay Packers. Him and his wife are traveling. They're at LAX in Los Angeles. They're going through that, you know, they ask him all of the regular questions. You know, uh, do you have any explosives, blah, blah, blah. Trevor Davis looks to his wife and asks her, did you remember to pack the expletives or the um, explosives, not expletives, excuse me. Um, just the dumbest thing you could possibly do at an airport. It's 2018. I mean, what happened in 2001, we'll never forget. But I mean, seriously, how dumb can you possibly be? Masters 2018 down at Augusta National. Boy, oh boy, was the Masters really popping off of the map this time around. Tiger Woods back in the field. Everyone was in an uproar for Tiger. No pun intended there. But man, oh man, everyone was super pumped to see Tiger back in the field with the Masters, the biggest golf tournament of the season. And boy, oh boy, did Tiger disappoint. Came in 30, tied for 32nd at plus one. Uh, the winner was Patrick Reed, who finished 15 under. Coming in second place was Ricky Fowler at 14 under. And in third place, Jordan Spieth at 13 under. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the Masters and how Tiger did specifically. We're going to shift right into the Major League Baseball. 
That started up just about a week ago, just over a week ago. Opening day was here. Huge baseball fan I am. Uh, obviously, I live in the uh, Phoenix, Arizona, so I'm a fan of the Arizona Diamondbacks, as you can see from my hat that I'm wearing today. We're just going to basically cruise down. I'm going to give you the overall standings through Sunday, April 8th. In the AL East, the Red Sox lead that division with an 8-1 and record. Over in the AL Central, the Twins are 4-3. and They actually hold the best record in that division. The American League West, the Houston Astros, no surprise there. The defending World Series champions are 8-2. and Over to the National League, where the Mets lead the NL East at 7-1. and The NL Central is uh, the, the probably the most surprising thing in all of baseball right now. The Pittsburgh Pirates leading the NL Central with a 7-2 record. We'll see if they can hold that up. And, and, and uh, finish Finishing out in the National League West, the Diamondbacks have the best record through Sunday, April 8th with a 7-2 record. Any baseball fans out there listening, who is your favorite team? Drop a comment below. Once again, follow me at My Spin on Sports on Twitter. We can have these discussions. We can have these conversations on there. I'd love to hear from you guys. At any time, I'm always on. Shifting gears to the NBA, where it is almost playoff time of the NBA. Just a few more games left for each of the teams. Maybe some of your teams are finished. Just going to do a quick rundown of what the current playoff matchups would be if the playoffs were to start today. They're, they might change a little bit, but for the most part, I think they're pretty much going to be set. We're going to start in the Eastern Conference with the number one seed. The Toronto Raptors will take on the number eight seed, the Washington Wizards. The two-seeded Celtics, without Kyrie, who will miss the playoffs, will take on the Milwaukee Bucks. The three-seeded Philadelphia 76ers will play host to the Miami Heat. And the final series in the East, it's going to be the uh, number four-seeded Cleveland Cavaliers will face off against the number five-seed Indiana Pacers. Moving over to the Western Conference, it's going to be the number one Houston Rockets. That's right. The Houston Rockets got the number one seed this season, not the Golden State Warriors, who have locked that down the past couple of seasons. They will be taking on the number eight seeded Minnesota Timberwolves. The number two seed Warriors will play the Thunder. Nice little uh, uh, storyline there where Kevin Durant leaving the Thunder for the Golden State Warriors. They are more than likely going to face off this season in the first round of the playoffs. The number three seeded Portland Trailblazers will host the San Antonio Spurs and the 4-5 game is going to be the Jazz hosting the Pelicans. The Pelicans are without, uh, obviously they're going to be without, um, what is his name? Good God, it's uh, escaping my mind right now. Boogie Cousins, that's right, uh, he won't be, but Anthony Davis, that man is a beast. Um, that, that, that's really all right now that I kind of have for the NBA who do you think it is a five, their five game series, the first round? So maybe drop some comments below in the section or uh, follow me at Twitter at MySpinOnSports uh, and give me your predictions. I can come out with my predictions. Um, this video will probably be coming out in the next day or so. Uh, and, then I, and then you'll get another video from me in about a week. Um, so depending on uh, maybe if I get enough comments, I can uh, do some prediction videos, just knock them out real quick, put them out there for you. Uh, but yeah, that's that's probably going to be it for the NBA. Moving on to the NHL, it is my favorite sport. I grew up playing it, grew up in Indiana. I, I played hockey from the age of three years old until I was 12 years old. It's always been near and dear to my heart and always will be. Um, the season has came and gone. It's in its NHL playoff time, the best time of the year if you're an NHL fan. Once again, I'm just going to run down, do the quick little rundowns of of the matchups we've got uh, in the Eastern Conference is going to be the Tampa Bay Lightning hosting the uh, New Jersey Devils. Uh, the the Boston Bruins will play host to the Toronto Maple Leafs. That should, all these series are going to be amazing series um, for sure. The Capitals will face off against the Blue Jackets. The Penguins will play the the Flyers. Moving out to the Western Conference, it's going to be the Nashville Predators, the reigning uh, Western Conference runner-up. Uh, they, they lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Stanley Cup Finals last year. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets will be hosting the Minnesota Wild. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, the expansion team, made the playoffs. That, that, that is unheard of. It does not happen all that often. They put together a great team. They got great coaching. Uh, I mean, th that city, Vegas, really got behind the Golden Knights this year. Really cool to see. I'm a Phoenix Coyotes fan, or excuse me, an Arizona Coyotes fan. 
Uh, I mean, I watched all the games. Uh, I watched a few Vegas games. That crowd is electric. Just, just you can feel it through the television. It's amazing. Uh, they, they, they play the Kings of the first round, and then it's going to be the Ducks versus the Sharks. That is a Pacific Division rivalry matchup. That should be a really, really rough and rowdy series. So listen, folks, that's going to do it. I'm Fat Ninja. Like, a, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any suggestions, if you have anything that, that maybe I could do better or, or maybe if something I could tinker with, feel free, let me know. Drop some comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. One more time, I'll let you know. Follow me on Twitter at MySpinOnSports. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys, and I'll talk to you next week. How dumb can you possibly be?